The discovery of genetically modified wheat in a field in Oregon is a growing concern around the world. That's why officials are working fast to solve this mystery. A wheat plant that simply wouldn't die. The revelation struck fear in some farmers and families and brought more negative attention to a company already in the global crosshairs. I knew it was going to be an extremely sensitive issue. Carol Mallory Smith was charged with testing the plant in this Oregon State University lab. She found it was a genetically modified organism, commonly known as a GMO. All of the tests that we did came up positive. On May 29th, the USDA confirmed the wheat was genetically modified by the multinational seed corporation Monsanto to resist the company's own popular Roundup wheat killer. The modified wheat was never approved for market, and many nations that import American grains are leery of GMOs. South Korea and Japan have even gone so far as to suspend U.S. wheat shipments since the discovery. It could definitely contribute to a downward spiral if we don't get this fixed or explained. Grower Darren Paget has 3,200 acres of wheat nearly ready for harvest on his family's farm. He says just the fear of genetically modified wheat could impact his bottom line, especially since 90 percent of Oregon's wheat crops are exported, most of it to Asia. You know, your number one cash customer leaves you, that definitely puts you in a bit of a pickle. For seven years, Monsanto tested its Roundup-resistant wheat in several states. Those trials ended in 2005, and the company says it took precautions to make sure its modified wheat didn't end up in any other fields. You don't have 10-year-old seed, wheat seed in the soil emerging 10 years later. Now a professor and crop expert at Oregon State, Bob Zemetra worked on those Monsanto wheat field studies. My most likely scenario is it's an accidental mix that something was sitting on a shelf and somehow it went from the shelf into the seed. No matter how it happened, it's a nightmare for moms like Zen Honeycutt, who doesn't think GMOs are healthy. We really believe that the, these GMOs are compromising an entire generation of our children. We used to be able to let our kids just have a burger and eat the bun, and now I'm really concerned that we're going to need to stop doing that. She joined thousands around the world, from Boston to Belgium, protesting Monsanto just days before the Oregon wheat story broke. Say no to GMO! Say no to GMO! So far, no other genetically modified wheat has been found. And even though not approved, the FDA says the wheat is safe to eat. Varieties of Roundup-resistant corn and soy are already in use. Yet some wheat farmers are suing Monsanto, which call the lawsuits nothing more than lawyers chasing tractors, especially since both the government and the company are still digging for answers. And researchers say we may never know how that genetically modified wheat ended up in that field. Stephanie Elam, CNN, Morrow, Oregon.